Hey guys, welcome back to the Kiwi Docs. Uh, today I'm joined here with Dusty, and we're going to talk about a concept that we see a lot of our quarterbacks kind of fall into, and that concept would be trailing leg center. All right, so whenever quarterbacks are trying to generate force and velocity forward with their throws, we oftentimes see this right leg, that back leg, kind of trail through, and they don't really push off that leg; they kind of just swings through. And oftentimes. We see the quarterbacks that do that don't finish their throws, but they also don't develop much velocity on their throws. All right, so I'm gonna have Dusty show this, what this looks like first, all right? So Dusty's gonna throw towards the wall here. He'll push and open and throw, but that right leg kind of just kind of trails. So he leaves this right trunk open, he leaves his right hip open, and he can't get his hips all the way through his throws. So, the first thing we need to look at is the range of motion and hip extension first. So his ability to bring his leg behind him whenever he drives a throw is really important. We'll talk about that quite a bit. Uh, the next thing would be hip interrotation. So that's his ability to rotate his hips forward. All right, because as quarterbacks, we start in this frontal plane of movement, all right, so it's side to side and we use frontal plane plus rotational transverse plane to enter sagittal plane, all right? So if we don't have hip interrotation, hip extension, this trunk, our trunk and hips will never be able to enter sagittal plane because it'll always be trailing. I'm always trailing behind myself. Even, it doesn't matter how much power I'm trying to produce off that back foot, I'll never get there because of the lack of range of motion on my hips, all right? So, if you haven't watched our other videos on how to improve those two ranges of motion, I would do that first, okay? So after you've done that, you have to exercise through that, and you have to be taught how to drive off that back leg so you don't have this tra trailing leg syndrome, all right? So the thing that we would do is I would cue Dusty, I would coach Dusty, if he's in the throwing motion, go ahead and get your throwing motion, Dust. All right, I would tell him, and I'm sure a lot of you quarterbacks have heard this term of squashing the bug, all right? It's no different than a quarterback throwing or even a batter swinging a baseball bat. He's got, he has to drive off that back foot and squash that bug first before he brings his hips forward. So thus he's gonna rotate and push off that foot, but as he does that, he wants to rotate that knee in and drive his hips through as he, as he throws too. So we'll rotate, push, and throw, yep. And as he pushes, that right foot will gradually come through. And it, it's hard to show if we're not on a field, unless he's not doing it full, mo full speed. But you can see that as Dusty drives that foot, that power is generated up the leg, through the trunk, and then to the hand, or whatever implement Dusty is using in his hand. And then, and in this instance, it'd be football, all right? So, for you quarterbacks out there, look at the range of motion of that back hip, all right? After you fix that, you have to practice this the right way because if you don't, you already have a motor pattern ingrained in you. So if you decide, oh, I'm just gonna go stress my hips and I'm good, that, that's not how it works. You have to develop the neuromuscular system on top of that and go throw right after you make these improvements. So a good time to do some of that stretching, some of that, that hip work will be right before you throw so you can start to introduce a, a good new pattern into your throw, all right? If you like that video, please check out our other videos at the QB Docs on our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, or our website, theqbdocs.com.